boy, yes. Balance patch day. Let me load up a ranked and see what's going on with it. Oh, wow. Would you look at this? Disconnection penalties. Negatively affecting other players with improper online conduct during ranked casual and targeting matches will result in a penalty. So basically, don't disconnect because your trust level actually is affected and you will get punished. Players who receive a penalty are subject to the following. Unable to join online matches and a loss of BP. I like that. So something that's kind of cool now is you can actually accept your opponent or decide that did not accept him. And that's absolutely freaking amazing. But the other thing is, is like, I wonder what happens if you accept the opponent. Well, I'm going to accept them and then I'm going to back out before I actually hit battle ready. And I want to see if that like gives you one of those penalties or not. Because you know what I mean? Because like maybe I should do it on audit account because I don't want to I don't want to get penalties on this account because like I don't I don't want to accidentally, you know, lose my BP because it's dumb crap. Hold up. Let me give me one second. OK, so I'm really curious to see if I hit yes to this match and then say if I just, you know, what I'm saying just like goodbye. What happens? Say, say I didn't like his team. You feel me? I'm saying I, I didn't like your team. Your team was bummy. What happens? What happens? What happens? What happens? Do I get the penalty still? Yeah. Wow. You actually get the penalty. I think that's a little crazy because like you could if you like say if say if you see an entire team that's like all say to six plus Naruto and you want to back out really quickly, but like you didn't back out of the match itself. I don't know. But hey, whatever, dog. Whatever, dog. <laughs> But to take a deeper look at it, here's the literal chart. Basically, when you have a green smiley and you rage quit, no freaking punishment. Yellow smiley, first punishment is 30 minutes. Second punishment is an hour. Third punishment is 60, uh, six hours. Uh, uh, fourth is 12 hours. And uh, fifth is 24 hours. And then as for the red, the first two are 48 hours. And the third is three whole days. Three whole days is crazy. Uh, and also, as you go down, you also get more, more, lose more and more BP. First, it's like you lose one match worth of VP, and then you lose like two matches worth of VP. And then you lose whole uh, like a whole five matches worth of BP, and then <laughs> you lose an entire rank worth of VP, and then an entire two ranks worth of VP, or depending on where, what rank you're in. I'm assuming most people that watch this are in like Joni rank. That's why I say a thousand is a rank. But if you're in Battle Hard Ninja, you lose like half a rank of BP, and then two thousand is a full rank. Um, forty, and then in red, you lose two whole ranks in Battle Hard Ninja. An entire set of ranks in Jonin. Basically, if you're a Jonin general, you're going back to Chunin. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, 6,000, meaning you lose an entire set of ranks no matter what rank you're in, really. And then 10,000, which means you lose... Oh my god, you lose so much. Holy crap, dog. Don't rage quit anymore. Don't rage quit anymore. You bums, don't do it anymore. So one of the changes here is they fixed lightning kunai's and they also so basically i don't know if you don't know what a lightning kunai tag is is basically you know when you know you were using a puppet you couldn't like basically use a bug uh because it was still in the files it was a bug unintended use you could literally make it so that you stunned your opponent and then your opponent couldn't do anything he couldn't activate sub couldn't do nothing i mean that was that was a permanent stun you can do whatever the heck you want for him for the next hit so if you wanted to do lightning kunai into a freaking ultimate you got it and that's basically what they fixed now moving on, they also made battle pal battle balance adjustments, making the shuriken unable to restand your opponent. So basically, what that means is I'll show you. Hold up. I mean, Conan is the best show this, as you see. Uh, he's on the ground, hard knockdown. Can't stand restanding with shurikens. But uh, they did not take away OTGs from the game. They just made it with shurikens because you can still use OTGs to follow that up. Anyway, moving on, they actually reduced the advance on dynamic entry. Now, this is actually good for two reasons. Not only does it lose range, but it actually makes it a lot easier to punish because there's a recovery frames on this move after you use it. But because of how far they went, it was actually hard to punish them. But now you can easily punish them. Moving on, they reduced the damage of Eno's jutsus, but also added a poison effect to them which is honestly questionable. I don't really know if that's good or bad. As for Shisui, Uchiha style Halo Dance was made it so that it takes increased chakra to use, but they did uh, two buffs for him. They made it so that you can actually combo after the grab and combo after the air combo like so, which is amazing. And with the combo one after the grab, it makes something like this possible. Boom. See that? Love it. <laughs> she she got fucking moves now. Stage mode Hashirama or reanimate Hashirama literally has the Sasuke freaking stuff now. Basically, you can infinitely go into this with no chakra. Or if you want to, after one of these air combos, you can go into an all or ninja dash or do a jutsu or whatever you want because it's free now. This kid Eno move is now able to be comboed from and also canceled. So as you see, I just comboed off of it and now I can cancel it. 
Hisame is now able to follow up after his air combo, so you can do the Sasuke with him as well, where you just literally go into an infinite freaking loop. Delta got the same treatment. You can now air to ground combo your opponents. You know, it's not as good as Kisame's or like Takasasuke's, but like it, it's still good. Like it's always good to have that option. Ishiki's grab is now slower. That's, that's quite literally all they did to him. They just did a slower his grab, which is, I think is stupid. They should, that, and, and reduce the damage. I think they should have did a couple more things, but it is full. It's what it is. Oh, and Sadon Naruto has quicker grab speed. That's it for all the bigger changes. Now let's move on to the small changes. Karama Link Naruto got a buff by obviously having to reduce the amount of chakra speed when using Tell Beast Bomb and also making it increase damage. Also, it sends the opponent flying away of rolling a, instead of rolling after being hit and adjusted to make it possible to cancel the latter part of his move using a dash. Okay. Um, Jugo got increased damage on everything. Also, it made it more possible to like ninja dash out of his or move out of his combos while he was actually hitting you on his guard. Um... Yagura basically made it possible to form ninjutsu blocks off of raise it, rising core ripples. Normally that would be punishable, but now if you jump over and try to punish him, it won't be able to possible because he could just block. He can cancel the move. And he increased the stun effects on enemies when especially in the ground combos. That basically means he has more combo opportunities. And they made it so that the flying distance when of the enemies being thrown or is further, basically making it harder to do a couple of different loops with Yagura. Um, Roshi has uh, increased speed. Fu has reduced the amount of chakra for both of her moves. The Mizukage reduced the amount of chakra needed for both of his moves. Hanzo, which is good, he has reduced defense. And Ibuse, the sum of the time frame is slower, and the dash canceling time is slower, and it has increased opening for uh, for counter attack basically. And then yeah, Ibuse support is slower. Susano slashing two from from Madara is uh they made the recovery speed using a support and increased the inflicted damage. Uh they basically just and then they made it so that you can get out of his freaking guard strings easier. Uh past that they fixed Sasuke, they reduced the damage of Phoenix Flower Jutsu for a kid Sasuke, and then for part one. This is a typo, this is supposed to be fireball jutsu. They basically made it so that it reduces the amount of chakra needed to activate, and they also made it do more damage. And past that, there's nothing. Haku got a little buff. Haku and Zabuza. Zabuza has Land Breaker increased damage. And then uh, Water Style, Water Dragon Ninjutsu. Uh, it now has less recovery frames. Haku uh, has more stun frames on his combos. Sarada has uh, more. She takes more chakra to use Blade Trap. And, you know, recovery is time slower on the assist. And then for the rest of this, it's kind of all just, you know, recovery speed slower and stuff. Past that, they kind of just reduced the recovery speed of a lot of people when using them as an assist and also just like did a lot of small changes, which I'm not going to cover because they're small. But yeah, they, they hit Shikamaru, they hit the Kazakage, the fourth Kazakage, they hit uh, Naruto Sage 6 pass mode, so that's good. But yeah, past that, you can just go look at the link in the video and read it for yourself.